Hey, this is the first video about Django REST framework. And I will show you how to use the serializer. You can use Django REST framework with any front-end development like React and more. Okay. So this is the first tutorial about Django REST framework and I will show you how to serialize the data and so that you can use it any front-end development like React and more. Okay. So you can check this tutorial step by step in the B-Learning Club website. I put this link in the description box. So just check it. So let's start. So this is the official website of Django REST framework. Django REST framework is a powerful and flexible toolkit for building web APIs. Some reasons you might want to choose REST framework. So read all of this. Okay. If you want. Now scroll down and just copy pip install Django REST framework. You have to install Django REST framework. So just copy it and open CMD. Okay. So I just open CMD in this directory. So just paste it. Pip install Django REST framework and install this at first. Okay. In my case already satisfied. At first you have a list view for this project. So just open CMD and type python manage.py run server. I already created a list view. Okay. So how to create a list view? You already know. Otherwise you can watch my video. Okay. So just open the browser and type the localhost. You can see this is the list view. Okay. So this is the Django project and this is a Django application. At first go to the project settings and install the app and go to the URLs and include the URL app.url so go to the application just create a urls.py okay and go to the views it create a index function and go to the models here just create a student model you can create any model so this is a student model with name school and section and this is the str function return self dot name and go to admin.py and register the model admin.site.register student model okay so just create this index function and obj equal to student.objects.all this is the query set and obj is a django variable and use this variable in the index.html so create a templates folder and index.html here i use the bootstrap okay so this is a for loop for grabbing the all student name and school okay now make migration and migrate and run the server so this is the list view for this project okay so you already know how to create list view so now i use this django rest framework okay so now at first go to the rest framework official site and here you can see installed apps you have to install the app rest framework okay so just copy it or go to the settings this is the project settings and here install the app rest framework okay now go to the application this is the application means django application now create a folder name serializer.py serializer.py okay now type from rest framework so just type from rest framework import serializer import serializer and now type from dot model actually you need a model for serialize okay so just import the models so just type from dot models import your model so in my case the model is student okay now create a class so just give it a name so student is P U D E and student serializer. Okay, and inherit from serializer dot model serializer. Okay, serializer dot model serializer. Okay, so go to models here. You use model dot model. Okay, similarly here you can use serializer dot model serializer. This class inherit from serializer dot model serializer. Okay. So if you using this VS code, so just control and right click. Okay, you can see this class. So now create the meta class. Meta class will connect 
the model so just create a meta class and the model model is student okay i already import the student model meta class will connect this student model with the student serializer class okay now the fields f i e l d s fields fields equal what so just go to models.py here name school and section are the fields so go to serializer.py so i just use name and school okay so just go to models.py here this is school so just copy it and here just paste it okay now save it okay so now go to views.py here you have to create a view set for this django rest framework has inbuilt view set so you have to import this so just type from rest framework so just type from rest framework import view set okay and now import the serializer class what is the serializer class student serializer so just type from dot serializer import student serializer okay so now here use the class base view so just type class and give a class name student view set student view set here i use the django inbuilt view set okay so this is in inherit from view set dot model view set model view set okay now type the serializer class so what is your serializer class this student serializer so just copy it and paste here or type it here and now what is your query set the query set is this object student dot object dot all okay so now paste it here so this is the serializer class student serializer and this is the query set student dot object dot all okay so now go to urls dot py so now here you have to create the router okay router provide an easy way of automatically determining the url configuration okay so just at first you have to import this class student view set okay so just remove it and type from dot views import this student view set okay now just type a variable name router r o u t e r otherwise you can go to the official documentation of django rest framework and scroll down scroll down and here you can see this okay router provide an easy way of automatically determining the url configuration okay you can see this so just copy it okay now copy this and paste here okay so you have to import the routers also so just import router from rest framework so just type from rest framework import routers okay so now router equal to routers dot default router and router dot register here just remove this and choose your url name so in my case i use student is t u d e n t this is the path name of the url student and just remove it and what is your view set in my case the view set is student view set so just copy and paste okay router dot register will take two argument at first the url path name and second is your view set name okay before this you have to set the router router dot default router this is inbuilt by django rest framework okay now you have to include this router's url so just remove it and here at first import the include also now here just type include the router's url so just type router not routers are this variable actually okay default router variable 
Okay, so just type the router and dot URL is URL. Okay, you can see this. This is our URL list. Okay, just click control on this. Okay, so now save it. Okay, so now go to the views here, just save it and now. So now it is ready and run the server. So just type python manage.py run server. Okay. So just open the browser, refresh it and you can see this is a Django REST framework and now you can see the URL name student. This is the name of your URL. You have already defined it in the router.register this student URL okay so this is your URL and just click on this okay so you get the value of your model so I have already created a three model of student from the admin panel so you can create it so I just created another model so just go to admin and go to student and here just add a student name is Rohit Okay, so school of name is North High School. Okay, and section, just add this and save it. Okay, so now type the local host and go to the student again. So you can see the name is Rohit and school name is North High School. Okay, so go to serializer.py, you can use another field name section is ec okay so here just use the acc section and save it and run the server and here you can replace it okay this is the section and this is the value of the this is the integer value okay the name school and the section okay so if you type the id here okay you can get you get the model with id1 okay and you can add the id field id field already predefined in the django okay so now replace it okay you can see the id id1 id2 id3 okay so you can use this django rest framework in any front-end development like react or more so in this video i don't use any auth permission or anything i just clear your basic idea about Django REST framework and why you use this Django REST framework okay and you can visit this tutorial in the B learning club website so here is a step by step tutorial for this so just check it okay so thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in next video thank you